Yes, Nikki, at the last court hearing here back in September, the county judge asked for a more concrete update on exactly where they would place William Stephenson, that is the sexually violent predator that is set to be released back into Placer County. I spoke with the district attorney as well as a resident about this, and they both believe that the Department of State Hospitals as well as Liberty Health did not provide enough information. We don't want him here, plain and simple. Annabelle Velasquez is a Placer County resident. She is hoping that William Stevenson, a sexually violent predator who reoffended last time he was here, won't call her county home again. But a judge ruled in a court two years ago that Stevenson will be released here. District Attorney Morgan Geyer says the ongoing issue has been placement. While we disagree with the court's ruling, we understand it and respect it that he is to be released, but that release has to come under the right circumstances. The Department of Hospitals and Liberty Health providing an update on those circumstances in court today. Fox 40 could not record the hearing, but was in attendance. Liberty says staff is going as far as driving around Placer County to find potential listings for single family fixed residences for Stevenson. At some point, we someone will have to determine that we've exhausted all avenues, literally all avenues in Placer County, and we'll have to look beyond. But as of now, Liberty has no current leads for an actual property or place. Just them saying that they're looking for places and, you know, and nothing is panning out and then they have a couple of leads and then they don't. It's not cutting it well with us. Liberty says the property they discussed at the last court hearing in September would not meet accessory dwelling unit requirements. Geyer says that the condition of Stevenson's release would be placing him in an RV or mobile home if they can't find him a permanent residence. And as we heard in court today, there were a few other property owners who have re since rescinded their agreements just based on either a change of heart or other circumstances. Um, but yes, whoever lives in that primary residence will have to be told what the circumstances are of Mr. Stevenson's placement, which complicates this process even more. And those complications are why Stevenson's defense attorney asked again for a straight transient release to a hotel or encampment. But the judge continues to deny that request. Mr. Stevenson needs to be given the tools to succeed. He needs treatment, he needs access to services, and the General public needs to be protected from Mr. Stevenson should he fail and commit new crimes. So until all of those needs can be met with the right treatment plan and the right housing plan, he simply can't be released. And we did approach the defense attorney about this right after court ended today, and he would not comment on camera to us about this issue. Also, the next court hearing is set for December 11th, and also that court judge asked actually to have another housing committee meeting. Live in Placer County, covering local news that matters, Kristen Barton, Fox 40 News.